But that night, Corporal Cole's watch didn't end like it had so many times before. The prosecution opened today's trial with an emotional retelling of Corporal Eugene Cole's final shift. On that night, April 25th last year, the state says Corporal Cole encountered John Williams. The deputy had arrested his girlfriend days earlier and was about to arrest Williams himself. In his intoxicated state, Mr. Williams' immediate intention was to not go to jail. The defense told jurors Williams was high on drugs and not thinking straight when he pulled a gun on Corporal Cole and shot him. According to the medical examiner, the gun was against his neck when it was fired. The state says Williams had two guns, a bulletproof vest, and ammunition with him that night. Common sense and reason tells you that if the killing of Corporal Cole was the result of an accident, then you wouldn't arm yourself with a high-powered weapon, such as a submachine gun and a 9mm handgun. Williams's lawyer argues his client didn't intentionally or knowingly kill Corporal Cole, which the prosecution will need to prove to the jury for a murder conviction. His lawyer says he didn't realize the consequences of pulling the trigger. And it's not our defense in this case that Mr. Williams was just completely blacked out and had no idea what he was doing. As you heard there, we did get testimony today from the medical examiner as well as several others involved in that initial search for Corporal Cole when he was first reported missing. We do expect to hear from a lot more witnesses as this trial goes on, and it could take up to two weeks. Live in Portland, Tyler Cataract, WMTW News 8. All right.